Listen, I'm man, we right. here. You heard? You heard. For, for cultural purposes only, we ain't going to waste no time. We're going to get right to it. Regular Mike here. Sagard here. Brandon, a.k.a. Dr. B, in the building. How y'all gentlemen doing? I'm good. Man. I'm all right. Today, today's been a real funny, crazy day. But you alive, though, right? I'm alive, but today, actually, today has some significance. Um, three years ago, my nephew passed away. Oh, that was today? Yeah, well, it was It was really on Easter, but... Oh, you're right. You know, but, um, yeah, and um, I've just been real reflective today. Um, Jaden hit him hard. You know, I've been trying to talk to him all day and, and, and make sure he's good. Um, you know, because I've experienced this with my pops, my aunts, or my aunt, I should say, but for him, he and Alex were real close. And that relationship was crazy. I mean, they had a crazy bond. And, um, of course, checking on my sister and, and just, you know, it is, it's, it's been a wild day, man. But uh, we here. You good, though? For the oh, most yeah. part? Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm straight. You know, soldier, nigga. I'm a soldier, nigga. That's what he said. I'm a soldier. <laughs> a fucking soldier. Andrew Dice say, Yo, what's the deal? You holding up? Right now, you know what I'm saying? Some little song. I mean, I don't really, I mean, do you want me to go into the logistics of it? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Partake right now, rolling some cush. It's That's sad. it. So, so you about to get, you about to get where you want to be. I mean, I'm already at where I want to be. I'm relaxing. I'm actually was, um, if you could see, I was playing the fucking, I was playing the game and shit. I was playing fucking Ghost Recon, Breakpoint. I don't really play games, but now that I'm home and yeah. I'm doing all the things that I always think about doing and talk about doing, so I'm fucking, I worked out today. Ooh, and, okay. All right, champ. <laughs> Try to get brolic. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I lost the weight. You know what I'm saying? I don't want niggas to think I'm smoking crack. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> you got to get it nice and tight now. You know what I'm saying? You got to get it nice and tight now. You know what I mean? Niggas think it's a joke when they say, like, yo, shit, like, yeah, I right. drop you on your head. I still think like that as a grown man. I don't know. No, you can't. You got you to gotta get, get a little cut here and there, let niggas Listen, know. You prepared. You don't got to be, you don't got to get prepared. That's funny you said that because, I mean, I, I be running in the street. Like, I do little two-mile runs, like, twice a week. But yesterday, I got into um, some calisthenics in the crib, which I haven't done in a while. A little push-ups, sit-ups. I woke up sore this morning, nigga. It must... <laughs> Yo, I miss hooping, though. I ain't gonna hold you. You got to stay active doing something. Like, I fucking, you know, I, I, it, it's crazy because all my friends, we grew up fat. You know what I'm saying? So you know, no, I, you know, we was all there, man. Let's keep it up. Yeah, we all grew up fat. We all we all like the Drake's cakes, and the, you know what I'm saying, and shit of that nature. So when my boy went to jail, he went to jail. You know, this is a sad thing, but he actually utilized his time for the better. He went to jail one way, came out another way. You don't really see too many people utilize their time True. for the better like that in certain times of deprivation. You don't really see somebody stay focused. But anyway, motherfucker came out. He was fat. They came out with a new body, like like these like these Instagram bitches. You know what I'm saying? When they get a new butt, so now he face bougie. He clapping all the bitches now. He's like, okay, I'm, I'm get talking. your shit off. Stare at bitches and they just come. And I'm like, oh, is you are you feeling yourself? All right, I see what's going on, but it's a good thing. It's a good thing. Yeah, but, um, it's, it's always good. I was, I've been doing twenty. Yeah, I'm doing sets of um, twenty push ups, ten pull ups, fifteen um, dumbbell. Do you pull up shit in the crib? Yeah, yeah, I got the whole shit. Oh shit! I got the pull up shit. I got the, the only thing I'm missing is the pull ups. I got the I got the weights that you adjust the um both flex weights the dumbbell. Oh, okay. oh you got a gym over there? I actually wanted those. I actually wanted. Yeah, those. I got I grabbed those. I grabbed those. Yeah, because they were But then when I then when I thought I was doing something, but like I said, my brother just came went to jail, came back. I thought I was doing something. I showed him. He's like, "What you doing with these bull bullshit ass weights?" Oh, you know man. Saying? He's like, I'm like, yo, 50, this shit only go to 50, 255? What is this? This shit is the what? You need to hit like 80. I'm like, this is not the yard, bro. <laughs> this not the yard. So you just was fat, my nigga. I got pictures of you. You had titties. Jump to listen. I don't know who was your bunkie. Don't be coming home. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Atlas. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> trying to make niggas feel bad. Y'all niggas need to get it. 
you get your shit up, man. You look at pop. You're like, oh, oh now you feeling uh, good about yourself. Why? Well, right. I feel you. But you know. But yeah, I've been doing that. So I did a couple sets of that. You know what I'm saying? I hit my little three sets. I ain't gonna hold you. I ain't no workout, nigga. I just lost the weight. So now I'm trying to tone. I mean, that's the hardest part, though. Pause to, yeah. is toning yeah. it. You know what I mean? Because everybody want that definition. You know, everybody want to be out there. Me up. I ain't gonna hold you up. That shit fucked me up, but I'm all right. Well, we all here, you know what I mean, for the culture, for the people, as usual. You know what I'm saying? I wanted to bring y'all together because, you know, one of the things I really wanted to touch on was um, everybody in the crib. And I'm seeing a lot of, like, you know, on the socials, like, people ain't happy being in the crib with their significant others, man. I think that's kind of crazy. So I wanted to ask yeah, y'all, I wanted to I'm ask y'all, brand. like, brand even, even friendships. Up. Like, how is quarantine affecting relationships and friendships like it's a lot of it's a lot of friendships like you like matter of fact i seen savior post something the other day like yo if 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 they ain't check on you they ain't they ain't your man you know what i mean i feel you on that but i'm the guy who don't really call people i'm gonna keep it a buck with you <laughs> i don't call people neither but then it's like this ain't no you know what i'm saying you gotta at least be like yo you all right you know what I'm saying like yo you might call a nigga nigga whole house might be dead not even on no funny shit Yo. Nigga in it dolo now, like yo, my nigga, like you gotta, you gotta, you know what's crazy? That all ties into like, like I was having a conversation. Did you get your census in the mail? I ain't feel that shit out. You ain't feel your shit out. You feel your shit out, nah. grand dog. See, nah. look, niggas gotta grow up, bro. We gotta grow up, so that niggas gotta feel that census out. Yo, look, we are the ones that are adults now. So now, <laughs> yo, we're, we got to do all the other shit that we didn't think about doing. Like, all right, the census. I thought it was dumb. But then when you do when you do the research on it, they, t- they say, this is what they say. They say when they do the census, they get the census. Now they know what neighborhoods need funding and certain yeah. health and things of that nature. They already know right. that shit, man. Yeah, they always say that shit. I don't know. But niggas don't play no role in it. Who knows? You know what I'm saying? Jew niggas probably fill out the census twice. Putting twelve people on that motherfucker, mm. lying all kind of shit. Who knows? But you, if we don't play a role and try to, you know, see what's up, you can't really judge on it. That's how I'm looking at it. I thought I don't they were know. trying we to get the illegal so aliens out of the out of the neighborhood. Yeah, that's what I thought yeah. too. Mm, mm, mm. But I see it's, you know, it's deeper than rap. Yeah, you know, we got to start trying new shit, doing new things. You know what I'm saying? Like we don't like the system, so we gonna, you know, we gonna keep complying with it the way it's been going, or we gonna try to like actively put a change to it, you know? So these are the things that I, and I realized, like, even with the census shit, like, now that we getting older, it's, it's coming, the shit is shifting into our control and niggas don't really like, a, like, responsibility. You know what I'm saying? Like, responsibility, niggas be like, oh, man, get the fuck out of here. You know what I'm saying? It's, <laughs> it's kind of weird now, you know what I'm saying? Now that these are, the, like, voting and shit like that, I don't really agree with the voting shit, but then it's like, all right, you got people running for Queensboro president. They don't look nothing like us. You know what I'm saying? And then who, who, who do you think they're going to help? People that they relate to, the communities that got them in power. So, you know, we can complain. You know, it is what it is. But back to your point of saying as far as, like, being in the crib, though, shit. I done seen the, um, the rate of domestic violence go up. Motherfuckers is getting beating they bitches up. You know what I'm saying? And they, and they bitches is beating niggas up, too. Don't get it twisted. Oh, Don't that's a fact. Twisted. Don't get it twisted, you know what I'm saying? It's not a one-way street. But motherfuckers be, um, it's like we used to, like what Brandon was talking about in the last shit. Motherfuckers be living in, living living lies and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, people don't really live their truth. So then now, then when, then it's, then when they're in a certain situation, a compromised situation, they forced to deal with it. You know what I'm saying? So then now when you forced to deal with it, the real come out, now you got to handle that shit. But you ain't got nowhere to go because you're going to die if you go outside. So niggas just tight. Niggas just, I don't know. I'm just saying, like, how you get in a whole relationship with somebody and then a week in to isolation, you like, I had enough. Well, here's <laughs> so the thing it, it just got me to thinking real quick, Brandon. It just got me to thinking, like, how much time do we really spend around each other? Like, you go to work for eight hours. You know what I mean? Then you come home and you got, what, four hours before you go to sleep? So you're not really, we're not really spending the time with people that we think we are. You know what I mean? I, Getting to know people like like we think we should. You know what I'm saying? What you got, though? I think that there was a saying. Somebody said, if you take away the sex from a relationship, you'll see what you really have. 
And when you're around someone 10, 12, now 15, 20 hours a day, mm-hmm. it, it's, it's, it's a lot because y'all live with y'all significant others and whatever the case may be. So y'all can speak to this. A lot of times where you could just say, all right, B, we going to Hooters and you don't have to be bothered. Now it's like, shit, I could just go, I, I just got to go in the other room. I can't leave. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, or, all right, I'm going to head to this one house. So I'm, gonna, I'm just going to go hoop. And I'm going to do things recreationally that will make me feel better. And I don't have to right. deal with it. So when I come back, it's all good. And another thing is you figure out somebody's likes and dislikes. I mean, you could speak to that. I mean, how's your experience with that as far as being in there all day besides when you got to go to the job? Well, me? Shit, I ignored it. one of y'all? I know the bitch, you know what you're saying? Like, I don't know what you're talking about. Like, at the end of the day, the bathroom's my safe place. I go in the bathroom, lock the door, go smoke a blunt, leave me alone. Leave me alone. That's it. You know what I mean? At the end right, of well, day- let me ask this then. Let me ask you this. What's a habit? And you don't have to really put on front street, but are you are you picking up are you seeing certain habits that you just can't deal with that she has? Um or new habits that you that you just noticed? I mean, look, not even new habits. It's just, you know, you it, look, put it like this. A person's like a slice of bread. You know what I'm saying? What kind of bread you talking, though? You, we talking brioche? Are we talking... Um, I mean, every bread got a crust. We talking challah bread? Everybody holla- got a crust, though. You, okay. So what I'm saying is, like, <laughs> yo, you can't... You know how some niggas get the bread and try to cut out the crust? You can't do that. You know what I'm saying? Like... When you fucking with a person, you got to accept the whole slice of bread. You know what I'm right. saying? Your slice of bread might be the butt slice, the end the slice. Loaf, the nigga, loaf. Gotta, the, the loaf, loaf, the whole loaf, Jack. You know, I don't know. Your, your, your slice of bread might be the butt. I don't know. But what at, that, what at the end of the day, you got to appreciate and accept the person. That's what the problem is, bro. I'm going to break it real down real quick, real easy. First of all, you got to be friends. It's real simple. It's real elementary. That's first and foremost. Yo, I got to be cool with you. Yeah. I got to just be cool with you. I got to like laugh and then be pleasant and happy in your presence and you got to be the same with me now if you got a certain bond friendship connection then it's going to grow and blossom from there because then you're going to respect each other's space like like and what i mean by space if you my friend mike my friend brandon my friend i'm i'm not yo I, i'm yo i don't want to make you mad at me i don't want niggas mad, looking like you know what i'm saying feeling a way towards me so i know i can't do but so much or Act away or anything, or because you're gonna push. I'm gonna push my nigga Mike away. I'm gonna push Brandon away. So I really can't do that. I got to check myself. So when you really care about a person, you'll check yourself before you even engage in certain shit. Mm-hmm. And then, because that's what you really want. Like, what do you really want? Do you really want to be in a relationship and be happy and with a picket fits and the fucking kids and everybody eating at the table? Do you want that and envision that? And if the other person in your whip don't envision that then you're going to have a hard road, road way to go. Now, don't get it twisted. We both human. Like, my girl got on my nerves today. Like a motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Got on my motherfucking like a motherfucker. So I just like, it, but you know, you, I, and it's her birthday. So then I got to be, this is, this is a tough conversation because I can start running my mouth and I'll be trying not to run my mouth, bro. Because then they, this is a tough conversation because now you got to be a man. Being a man is dealing with, is dealing with all the shit. And you still have an integrity and all that shit. So she got a little snippy at the what, what earlier today, and I gotta remember it's her birthday tomorrow. She can't do mm-hmm. shit for her birthday. Yeah, she, you probably, know what I'm saying? she probably transferring you know what I'm that energy. You know what I'm saying? She's turning thirty for the first time. Not like one of these old bitches that's thirty for the fifth time. This is her first thirty. Yeah. So then now she's upset. Like you know, she's supposed to be out the country, all her girls and all mm. this other shit. So then now this whole thing transpired and put a damper on her 30th birthday, which I feel bad for. I'm sad for because, damn, 30, you want to turn up. All right, oh, I was My birthday's birthday. coming up next week. Her, Brandon's birthday is the 25th. He tight. Yeah, like, he, he celebrate his shit. And, and he don't drink. So I don't know he what still to still celebrate, do. though. Trust you know, me. You know what I'm saying? Like, damn, can't even get it's no cra- but, but back, yeah, it's crazy. But, like, for me, FaceTime has been, like, my shit. So, Needless to say, I've been getting FaceTimes. And, you know, it's cool. Like, you know, the communication, keep that communication alive. Um, I think I think the communication 
has gotten a little better, but obviously there are things that get on my nerves. There's things that might get on her nerves and I voice them. But it's cool because if something is too crazy, I could just be like, yo, I hit you back. <laughs> as opposed as opposed to with y'all in the where same it's like place, yeah. Right. And but my thing is I feel you. But now you can't go nowhere. Just saying like that, you gotta think about so now how far is your relationship you gonna take it with that person if you always yo, I call you back. Once you get on my no, I hit you. I I put you on to the side. No, 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 no. I'm saying I'm saying that's an option. I'm just saying that's that's an option. No, I'm not saying I'm just I'm just putting it out there though. Cause then at times when you with a person, then y'all moving, you gotta deal with them at all aspects. Even when I don't like you. Yo, you be my guy, I don't like you. I don't like you. You mad boring right now. You get on my nerves. You're annoying. I don't like you right now. Maybe next month we might kick it. You know what I'm saying? Who knows? But then what's keeping y'all together? Is it now me personally? I look at it like it's a conglomerate of things like we got a child. I see a whole picture being built from us being together and had building a family and she being a woman to take my last name. Then I ain't really because if this don't work, I'm pimping bitches. <laughs> this nigga the last hurrah. <laughs> nah, this is it. I'm 36. Listen, man, look, if this don't work, soliciting and prostitution is the well, That's what I'm doing. Fuck that. Well, I think I think that this nigga's silly, man. I think <laughs> I think in any relationship, you have to leave room for growth, man. I think that's what it comes down to. You gotta leave room for growth. So it's not a finished product. So the person you see today, hopefully they're a better version of themselves tomorrow, next week, next month. Like you said, yeah. I wanna ask you a question. How many relationships do you think you got in you? Because I was talking to myself about this the other day. I said, yo, I really don't have too many relationships left. Because if uh, this shit don't work, Nigga, y'all bugging out. I'm out here. Listen, bitch, I got these. I got this. I got this. I got it. Man, look, I got this 4K1, 401K money, bitch. About to go trick on these hoes. And if that's the case, I, if this shit don't work, I'm going to make this shit uh, my last hurrah, rah, rah, before I leave the planet. Or would you just going to be miserable? It don't make no sense. You, you get in a relationship and a person not going to comply and try to work with you. And then you're fighting and tussling and frustrated. What the fuck? How many times do I? Yo, how many times? Wait. Thing that made me think about Hold this. Hold on, let me stop you right there. How many times can you have another bitch call you baby? Bad. Like the, you like the tenth bitch that they call me baby, bitch. I like you know, none of you bitches come up with a new name. None of this shit. You gotta be out your mind, bitch. <laughs> chill. It's, it's chill, man. It's it's crazy because you use the word compliance, and I think a lot of times with women. They think they bowing down. As we're not, you're really just like we're really compliant to each other. All right, look, this is what I like. This is what you like. We got to bridge the gap, find a middle ground. And I think, yeah, and I think that word, that compliance work, they they hate doing that shit, but they expect you to do. It. And it's and, a but see, I, and it goes both ways though. Like at the end of the day, you giving me something. I unless I'm unless I'm fucking Ike Turner, nigga. I gotta. Bend. Unless if I if I don't bend, I'm a break. So then look, we gonna build. If you don't see it like that, then I gotta go get these twenty old bitches that bust it open and make them all get an OnlyFans. And I'm just gonna tax the OnlyFans. We gonna get this money out here, bitches. You bugging? <laughs> but yeah, but uh, uh, will you be fulfilled? Is the question. You know what I mean? Like, is 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 a stable relationship something that you always coveted? You know what I mean? Because then you, are you looking at it as are you looking at yourself as a failure? You know what I'm saying? Are you settling for for the pimp lifestyle? Like that's the type of questions that we ask ourselves in our upper thirties. You know what I mean? So so let me ask you, Mike. Like for you, how how's that dynamic of being home and having to like interact and and, and you know how the, how's that going for you? I mean, it seems like for me things have kind of flipped because. I'm usually the one that's working, you know, mad hours and then coming home and, you know, trying to fit life in, you know what I'm saying? But now things have Where's flipped. Where's the big piece of chicken? God damn it. You know what I'm saying? Now things have flipped. I'm home, so 
I've been doing, you know, I've been helping out a lot more. You know, I done, I done made supermarket runs with a bandana on my face, nigga. I done made dinner eight, nine times. Look, I ain't gonna already. hold you up. This is where, this is where you shine, though, Mike. I ain't gonna hold you up, Mike. This is where you shine. This is where nah, you come yo, home. Being that you all the years, through all the years, you know, you know my excuse has been do everything now. With no, my with no excuse. complaint. Like I get up, I got the ball, I take care of ball. She gonna be like, oh shit, yeah, bitch. I don't, bitch. You could disappear, bitch. I, I take care of all the shit. <laughs> But I, I had to, when I was going to work. I had to do something because my excuse was, you know what I mean? I don't got no time. I don't got no time. I don't got no now. All I got is time. Right. So it's like, all right. Now fr- freak it. Freak it. How's it talking though? Like y'all talking shit? Like, dictionary like, like, to I mean, yeah, you know, you know, we when we got time, you know, we got three year olds, so we 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 spend a lot of time, you know, to answering to her. Like she be telling us yeah, the time. Like... <laughs> Nah, it's just a I'm even thing, noticing man. that, like, you know, she's definitely enjoying, you know, my, my daughter's enjoying having me around as much because, like I, I said, I'm, you know, if there's days where I go to work, she sleep, and I come home, she sleep, and, you know, she don't see yeah. me for days, so, so yeah. that's definitely something that, 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 um, that's a plus out of this whole shit, but, yo, niggas in the kitchen, I got yams everywhere, you heard? <laughs> <laughs> Word. Nigga, this game well, shit, but uh, might as well diversify nah, my portfolio, get a little extra skill. You know what I mean? Nah, but I mean, I just think that when you gotta be, and I don't want to use the word stuck, man, but when you gotta really be, when you gotta be around somebody all the time and know that y'all can't go nowhere, it, yo, it, it, it's, it tells a lot, man. Because the communication is key. Like, you really have to communicate. Like, it's one of them things to where you're not just going to sit there every single day and not say shit to each other. And the things you might want to talk about, she might not want to and vice versa. And that's where it's just like, all right, you got to talk about that again. Like, you don't want to talk about kids all the time. I don't know. I can't speak to nobody else. That shit makes me sick. You don't want to, you know what I'm saying? She don't want to talk about certain things. You don't want to talk about money and bills and this and that. You don't want to talk about the the pandemic itself and it's just sure it's a lot man i mean it comes so, down to common interests at the end of the day in, in the depth right that friendship person. that 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 you was talking about yeah yeah if, if if there's a limitation of how i can express myself or the different that's definitely a problem that's you know what i'm saying like, like i can't touch on certain topics yeah, and certain shit problem. like that's one thing i get to my lady she like I told you I'll be watching that game is done quick. I'll be watching all kinds of stupid shit. I ask to sit here and watch her shit. And then you got to just have a certain, like, medium, bro. Like, everybody, right. it's not always about what you want. It's, it's Sometimes it's like what you want might just be to see the other person happy. You know what I'm saying? Like, in that regard, like, so, like, if a person not willing to do that sacrifice like that for me, I really can't really go all out with you. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because I know I'll put me to the side to see you happy. I have no problem. Right. You know what, right. what I'm saying? So, so it's like simple shit. Like, if I can't sit and have a conversation about the stupidest shit. I don't know. I might want to talk about Brooklyn Drill rappers, bitch. You don't want to talk about Brooklyn Drill? Brooklyn Drill's fire right now. What's up? What you want to <laughs> talk about? You know what I'm saying? I listen to talk about the stupid shit you talk about. All right, cool. I'll give you an opinion, an uh, educated opinion about it and everything. So, you know, it's a balance, bro. You know, everybody, not, that's what it is. People, um, they, fe- they feed in the certain qualities of individuals as opposed to the whole person. That's what made me make up that analogy about the bread. You know, that's a dope saying? analogy, though. You can even use, like, pizza. Like, you got motherfuckers don't eat the crust. Like, nah, you don't eat the way, crust pizza? That I know motherfuckers that, that only want the crust. Yeah. Ah. You know what I'm saying? So then, like, and that's the same too, shit too. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah, <laughs> like you, like you just want to, you know. Um, get, nah, I'm tell y'all right now, if y'all if y'all with a broad and she don't eat the crust of the pizza, you need to reevaluate shit because that says a lot. Some weird shit. That's well, weird a couple shit. things. If you don't eat the crust, you wasted pizza, money, bitch. You, you wasted money. Watch man. how they swipe their debit card, like with with the aggressiveness, you know, of the swipe. It's a certain things that you could see early, like that'll let you know. Listen. <laughs> Yeah, man. Like I said, man, that communication is key, man, because you find a lot of shit that you do like and you don't like just by what a person says, man, and how they react to shit. Like, temperament is important, important too, because if she's too aggressive and you lay back, I don't think that's going to work long term. I mean, now, that's, don't that's get me wrong. Comes in, though. Hopefully, right. uh, don't get me wrong. 
can grow into some aggression to where y'all can have some sort of back and forth. Right. So I think I think sometimes what a person lacks, you can benefit from it, or they can benefit from you by adding that to whatever they like. But mm-hmm. when it's like totally like, okay, she's aggressive, he's laid back. She's emotional, he's nonchalant, et cetera, et cetera. I think that's a problem. And you and and now with this whole pandemic, what you find is you'll find that a lot of women now, if you read on the books, man, they fed up with shit. They ready to get their asses back outside. <laughs> they ready to shake them, they ready to shake them things. Yo, and, Twitter, I be on Twitter. Bros is OD and they talk about how much they miss dick and all this other shit. I think that's a little excessive. It's excessive, <laughs> but yo, yo, a lot of side niggas is gonna be happy, son, when this shit is over. Oh yeah, niggas is gonna be cleaning up. It's gonna be like they gonna be cleaning up. See what it's gonna be like. It's gonna be like that game, Jacks. When you when you drop the ball, how many jacks you can fucking snatch up? <laughs> that's what it's gonna hey. be. Like. <laughs> <laughs> Nah, that shit. That's how many, gonna be how many bros can you snatch up once outside open back up and close again, nigga? <laughs> I'm niggas cool. is ready. I'm cool all that shit. I'm just going to watch everybody make a fool of themselves because it's going to be a <laughs> lot of niggas getting burnt. You know what I'm saying? A lot of. Oh, it's going to get ugly. A lot of, lot of diseases going to be going. Just, just, how the, just how the motherfucking. The, 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 the domestic violence uh, rate skyrocketed. Watch, it's gonna be pregnancy and STD next after this shit. I ain't gonna win it. I'm cool. Oh, you know man. what though? Maybe y'all can educate me. I'm straight on that shit. Y'all, y'all got information on this on this um on this Corona cash? Like niggas got to pay it back. Like I know both of y'all brothers. Y'all y'all educated. Right. Y'all in tune with politics and shit. Somebody give me some information because I'm about to oh, fuck this Corona right. cash. So, like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> all right. So what I for, for what I. <laughs> Y'all got to pay that shit back. They, basically, they just fucked everybody. What they did was, what niggas don't realize, now niggas like me and you, Mike, we got to pay for our daughter to go to school next year because the free uh, pre-K the fucking for the baby ain't free no more. They canceled all that. They canceled some of you. They canceled mad shit. They cut mad different shit so they could give everybody this fucking punk-ass money, and it still ain't no money. Um, so, I'm going to keep real shit. If we, had to, if we had to pay it back, though, I wish we had the option to defer. You know what I'm saying? Because for me, I'd have been like, all right, keep this shit. I don't want to pay it next year. Keep it. <clears throat> yeah. No, nah, you brugging, man. But, I seen these, these LeBrons I wanted. I seen um, seen these new AirPods. You know what I'm saying? I'm looking at microphones, nigga. I was looking at microphones last night. I I'm do want to get those nigga. headphones. I ain't going to lie. But um, <laughs> nah, that shit, for real, that shit is crazy, though, man. Like, it... it Yo, it's a crazy, it's a spooky time, my nigga. Like, I, this shit is wild, man. Yo, in twenty years, man, we gonna look back at this shit. Twenty? How about two? Maybe, maybe a year. That's a fact. That's a fact. <laughs> two years from the word. All right, so two years from now, we gonna look back on this shit. Like, how do we survive this shit, man? No, I don't even see. I ain't even gonna trip on that because me and Savior was talking earlier. I mean, stay in the fucking house. No, 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 no. I don't mean it in that way. I'm talking about, yo, you and I. Yo, we sports guys. Oh, yeah, that, sh- that part is tough, bro. This shit is tough because I'm like, yo, right around this time. Playoffs, nigga. I- playoffs. You know what I'm saying? Then we got free agency. Then we, you know what I'm saying? Getting that groove, whatever, like that. This is wild, man. Like, this shit is crazy. Can't spend Anyone your money. Appreciate you can order shit. What happened? Definitely. And they that's the only that thing I see, I see how people don't know how to live with themselves. I'm saying so they're right. like bugging the fuck out. People don't that's a fact. really know themselves. They don't love themselves. All types that's of a stuff. fact. People that's don't fact. mad different sad shit. I see motherfuckers dying from overdoses now because they stuck in the house by themselves. Seen it. It's a lot of fucked up shit going on. You know what I mean? So you know, I'm just waiting. I'm waiting for the storm to clear. That's it. I'm gonna wait for the storm to clear. I don't even. I don't even know if it's a such thing as by yourself anymore with with um with technology. Cause like, look what we doing now. It's a mental you know I mean? It's a mental thing, bro. I mean, people let their mind. Look, a lot of these diseases that they consider diseases. I'm not gonna say it isn't a disease, but I, I what I will say is that um the mind is stronger than people like to give credit to and That's give fair. credit to. Mind is gonna um do what you allow it to do and what you feed it. And some people they have uh deficiencies in their brains which they can't help certain things. But a lot of times people I feel like in certain instances they don't um they don't combat the negative thinking with positive thoughts and, 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 and uh 
a, a positive outlook on things. They'll they'll let the negative thinking and, 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 and overtone overplay who they are, and then they'll succumb you, and then you're lost in some bullshit. So you got to kind of don't like, you think? Don't you think technology plays a part in that now, though? Because I think prior to that, I think if you don't know who, if you're not confident, you no. Know, nah, but I'm saying I agree with you. But I'm saying now even more, it's even more pronounced. Because think about it, you'll get on the internet and a nigga will have one character, and then off of it, he don't know who the fuck he is. He still think like, damn, like yo, them cameras is off. Who am I? Or the phone is down. Who am I? But he had that Thank problem. See, he, he 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 was looking for identity prior to him getting on the internet. Agreed. No, agreed. But what but what happens is on the internet. Again, it becomes even more pronounced. It happens more like you. It gets even more, more so. Like, damn, mm. who am I? Because what happens is, you get immersed in a character. It's like it's like an actor. You become that character, and then when the cameras go off, you don't know who you, you are. Got, yeah, I mean, you got a lot of niggas who stun on Instagram, and they right now they don't have no value because they can't go outside and show off nothing. I mean, well, you got right. niggas, you got niggas who, who get lost in it and, and who they are, who they what the, what the imagery is. But even if you lost reality, look, what you think and what reality is, is two totally different worlds. And then once you, you think in one thing, doesn't necessarily mean that that's what it is. So then when you go out in the world and you try to, you know, act on the things that you think on what it is or what you think you are and all that other shit, reality going right is going to rectify all that shit in a heartbeat. You know what I'm saying? So sometimes, like, you got the boot gang nigga. That nigga's out here lost his mind. He's out uh, here. He don't know who the fuck he is. He's out his mind, bro. You know what I'm saying? But then now, then I seen the nigga on the internet. Yo, I'm going to a job interview. I'm getting my life right here. You just confused, baby boy. Just a confused baby boy. You know what I'm saying? You don't even want to be called boot no more, right? Now, I don't fucking know. He's an idiot. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't why, you know, and, and you, you could come back from being an idiot. But then it's like, look at how far extreme you went, bro. Look, look what you was doing for identity because you didn't know who you were. You know what I'm saying? That's why knowledge itself is always prevalent in, in any dealings and actions. Before you get on the internet, before you start dealing with a female, you got to have a knowledge of who you are, once you, what you want, and where you're going. And if you, right. don't, you don't got at least, and nobody knows, like, for definite, like this is how you do ah ah ah. But as long as you know that's what you want and that's what you you know yearn for, then your then your intentions and your actions and decision making is going to you know drive you towards those things. I know that's what worked for me. You know what I'm saying? So I, I uh, in, in that regard. So if you know you want a certain standard in your life, then you work towards that standard, and then you know you f- you start figuring out along along your journey. But you don't jump out the window. You know what I'm saying? Like. Literally, ain't gonna get you nowhere. Don't jump out the window, literally. Yeah, niggas jump out the window every day. I seen a nigga put um, rubbing alcohol in his mouth and set his shit on fire. I saw that. Like, I'm seeing all kinds of stuff. Like, I don't, it says, but it's like, why? It's like, but then, you know, a lot of niggas is mentally fucked up. Because even if you're gonna do that shit, why don't you start up your own jackass? Call the shit black ass. You said y'all wanna be black ass, you said. No, I think black ass might have been a point. Now black guys that do it. Like, I don't know. Get a check, bro. Like, you know what I'm still saying? Like, you're setting yourself on fire, hurting yourself and shit. Niggas is crazy. But you know. Now, I told one of my bros the other day, I was like, yo, did, niggas got a lot of time on their hands. I think every individual has a specific thing they're supposed to work on with this time or a specific thing they're supposed to get to. And it's up to you to figure out what that is to make this shit productive. You know what I'm saying? Some people, maybe maybe they just got to learn about themselves and what they need to become better people. Some people, maybe they need to spend more time with their kids to be better parents. Some people, you know, it might be time to write raps. I don't know, nigga, like, you know what I mean? So I'm trying to figure that out. You know what I mean? I feel like I know what it is personally, but I ain't get the cheese and the pizza dough yet because I want to learn how to make a, make a pizza and open my own shop or some shit like that. Hey, Who knows? You know what I mean? But we gotta, gotta be, you gotta, you gotta be productive. Whatever you um, spark your day. interest, you know what I'm saying? And then you gotta put the will. Yeah, that's what I realized with society, though. That's why I sometimes the conspiracy theorist niggas make sense to me. Like they they numb and dumb everything down to where they'll take the drive from you if you let it. You know what I'm saying? If you if you're not persistent and focused on the things that you want, 
you'll sit back in the days if you not if you dumb, deaf, and blind sometimes. So you gotta say above all the bullshit that's going on, be knowledgeable, but stay focused on your path for what you want to complete. You know what I'm saying? That's you know, it. Other than that, I just been listening to the music. A lot of new music out. Yo, you know West Side Gun album coming out at midnight, nigga. You know that shit gonna be fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm definitely gonna grab <laughs> I just don't laugh. What's wrong with you? You better check it out too. That shit gonna be some fire. I'm telling you, B. Nah, I'm definitely gonna listen to it. I'm gonna listen to it. Speaking of music, I grabbed that I know, nigga. I know Save It by NC. Y'all niggas seen that that Preem and Rizzo battle? Yeah, I seen that. Yes, sir. Who you think won? Yo, I don't care what you say. Preem won. I think Preem won by one one record. I think he won by one record, but Rizzo was fucking him up at one point, nigga. In the first ten records, Rizzo he was. I ain't gonna lie. In the middle, in the middle, he did. Um, I was. It's funny because I'm watching it and I'm like, damn, yo. I said, I know Mike listened to this shit. I know he gonna get me for this Rizzo shit because <laughs> I'm listening and I'm like, Rizzo got some joints. Yes, he does, nigga. But we I, knew that Rizzo got some. J- Although one joint he ain't make. Oh, I heard. He I heard that one. Brooklyn Zoo, right? Brooklyn Zoo. He ain't make Brooklyn Zoo, and he and he and he threw it on there, so he should have got the merit for that one. But I I didn't even know he ain't make Brooklyn Zoo. I just assumed he did Brooklyn Zoo. But if you listen to Brooklyn Zoo, it don't sound. It don't. It's not his sound. That shit is so aggressive, man. That song is the reason why I feel a certain way about Brooklyn because you hear that how this nigga just come on the track talking about he gonna bust my motherfucking ass. I don't want to hear all that, my nigga. Like, I'm staying in Queens, nigga. Like, y'all niggas. But oh, and, and you know what is so crazy? Listening to it, it actually brought back my love for Old Dirty. Because he's underrated, man. Story, yo, Old Dirty was nice, man. And nice how, though? Him. Have you listened to him, son? Yo, Dirt McGurk. He wasn't writing his raps. Who was writing them? Rizzo and Jizzle was writing his shit. Nigga, quiet now. <laughs> Man, I didn't know that shit. He's still a legendary, you know, he's still a legendary figure in hip-hop for sure. He was one of the most charismatic people in the game and one of the first ones who could talk on the track and still give it life. Like, he's talked on Triumph and, and lit it and set that shit off crazy. But, yeah, he wasn't writing his raps, nigga. Rizzo and Jizzle was writing his rap. He was performing it. Don't get it twisted. That matters in hip-hop. But, you know. You don't like niggas who write who don't who write they shit anyway. Like. Nah, but you, you they helped him with huh? certain shits. But he, he wrote his. You gotta understand. He, he they ain't write all those albums. You know how many albums Old Dirty got? Nigga, he you got like know? three albums before he died, bro. Niggas was writing his shit, bro. They didn't write all those albums, especially the one that went platinum. That hey, dirty, maybe I get the shit with Chris Rock on it. I say this though. I say this. I think if they was though, I'm pretty sure they taught him how to do it. So I nah, think I mean, after a while you got you had to have learned how to rap. That's yeah, the so I, supposed to like they helped him whatever. Yeah, so so when so he I did that shit with Chris how. Rock, that shit was him with Chris Rock with him and Chris Rock going back and forth. That was so that was the old dirty bastard. Damn, they wrote that shit. Go look up the credits on that. That was one of the classic albums right there. When he dressed up like Rick James and shit so, like that. So yeah, let me ask, that was, let me that ask you, Mike. Good album, if you ask, so, that was a sick album. Or so who you want to? If you could, who would you want to see next? Battle. Yeah, I'm done with the battles, man. I, was I, I, I enjoy, saw, I enjoy the, the, I enjoy the Rizzo Cream shit. Shit about Kanye. I don't, nigga. I don't Kanye, see none no. of them niggas, man. Hey, fuck out. I saw some shit. Sh- fuck y'all niggas. <laughs> <laughs> I saw some shit with Kanye and Pharrell. How, how that should be a battle. I was like, I don't know about that. I don't, I don't want to see that, man. I don't, I'm done with the battles, bro. And, and maybe if they, I heard Dre about to battle somebody, which is stupid because. Who could battle Dre? But I'm done with the battles, nigga. I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave y'all to it, man. What? What you say? I said I'm done with the battles. I don't, you know, I don't really got like a laundry list of niggas I'm trying to see battle. The Preem and RZA shit piqued my interest because that's my two favorite producers in the game. Y'all can hear me? No, I can hear you now. My opinion, I'm gonna keep it real. RZA dope. That niggas is dope. RZA won. You know what I'm saying? My opinion for the simple fact. It was two different styles, but you know, Premier style derives from like original, like like all come from hip original hip hop and all that other shit. 
And he's like more with the scratching, mixing, that's like incorporated into his beat making. RZA got a, had a whole new sound when he came to his era. It was, it was more so like a, 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 a com, like a, a competition of errors. Like, you know, he had the group rocking home. at the same time. Huh? They was they was popping at the same time. You know what I'm saying? No, it's not a matter of popping because they still pop until the day. I'm talking about the era that Group Home was hot and Gangstar was like at their peak. Was it Wu Tang wasn't the niggas like you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. you know what I mean? They was it did. So then so that's what I'm saying. Like when Wu Tang came, when RZA came, he came with a whole nother sound that wasn't heard before. So that's why I, I like and then I'm I'm thinking about each record that he put up was like pivotal like songs it was yeah. like every song was like pivotal like hip-hop pivotal like oh shit like don't get it twisted premier got pivotal shit but nobody yeah. give a fuck about mop song bro nobody give a yeah. fuck about that mop song nobody give a fuck about some of them songs like you had certain songs that was cool nobody give a fuck about some bad that. choices if you ask me yeah like i don't like you got certain shit that here's was cool. the thing though with reza and this is one this is one thing that he could he could always he could that he got. Like you said, he brought in a new sound. And you could you could argue he revolutionized hip hop. Cause nobody he was a trailblazer. It wasn't nobody doing the shit that Wu Tang was doing at the time when they came out. Like if you look at pre ninety three and after ninety three, New York sound, hip hop, everything was just totally different. And you gotta credit Wu Tang with that. Yeah, that's true. But, you know, just to speak on, on Preem's behalf, he has signature records with some of the greatest artists of all time. I mean, we know RZA had wait, the woo. Wait, he did, but but RZA, and I can't believe I'm arguing for RZA. This shit is crazy. But, <laughs> you see how I tricked this nigga, right? <laughs> you know, or Bugs Bunny me and shit, but um, he, Premier does have um, great, great tracks and, and, and Premier shit, like no pun intended. He got great shit, but RZA has again. He trans, you know. He he turned. He, he changed, changed music, it. bro. RZA had has. He don't did. get it twisted. They both worldwide icons and figures and shit. But that nigga RZA got world music. He got you know what I'm just saying. Like Premier got that backpack niggas, the niggas that want to run around on skateboards and shit. <laughs> niggas want to spray paint and shit, and then want to break dance and shit in the middle of the street. With a backpack on, that's man shit, nigga. My, if, you know if, but if you look all, at the top all, five all hustling niggas, right? If you look at, at at revolutionary producers and people that changed the game, you have to say RZA is up there with Dre. Not not on that level, but Dre, Kanye, Pharrell, Swiss, like. When they, when you hear it, you can, you know, a, I mean, you know a premier beat, obviously, but Wu Tang, you can't write New York hip hop, you can't write hip hop in general without talking about Wu Tang, and they on the first page. I mean, we got to be real though. The Wu is on your beats, nigga. That that helps your beats, man. It does, but he like started. this nigga. This nigga did beats for MOP. You know what I mean? He did beats for hey. J. the Damager. Like he was giving these niggas slappers that that wasn't really rocking like that. You know what I mean? Well, it was I, right, but that's just it. Just, uh, you can't compare those artist tracks. No fucking Daytona. He ain't even played Daytona five hundred, bro. Daytona five hundred. That's my come only. On, like we got too many. Come on, man. It's too many. Like I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you issue. With, I'm gonna tell you issue with with, with Premier, and, and this is something like I said to where it's a chink in his armor. But you gotta you gotta respect it with RZA. RZA is associated with an all time all time all time hip hop group. Not saying that Gangstar, you know what I'm saying, wasn't great. But look at who's associated with who. If you got Dre, you got Snoop, you got Eminem, you got Fifty, etc. You got RZA with Wu. You got Kanye with J. You got Swiss with X, and, and this one and that one. You can't Pharrell with. I mean, listen, man. That, Primo he, he got did, legendary tracks with Nas, Jay Z. Consistent, understand. consistent bodies of work. I understand that, but but I understand that, and I thought he won. Don't get me wrong, I thought he won. But what I'm saying is, when you think of hip hop and you think of certain things, you want to associate certain producers. 
but artists. And I think that's what hurt him. Because again, RZA created a sound. They said that was oh, a knock on RZA. They said, you know, RZA, RZA, maybe he don't have the um the versatility. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The versatility of Premier, who okay. did joints for everybody. He doesn't. I'm not saying and, and, Christina Aguilera. And don't, and don't get it twisted. I'm not saying that. I think Premier is the better producer. But what I am saying is, when you look back, and, and, and you look back in history, RZA is going. They going. I'm telling you, it's going to look back on RZA Conley, man, because of the woo. Listen, his records make you feel a certain way. Like the, the and, next day, and, my face was hurting from from screw facing all night, nigga. And <laughs> and you got to look at it like this: some of the producers, not that he birthed, but give him love. Kanye, Kanye swears by RZA. You know what I'm saying? Join on one of your albums. And and when you look at influences, obviously, Premier. I don't know how many people he's. Obviously he has, but I can't think offhand like who he's influenced. But it, it's it's crazy, man. Like I would love to see Kanye and 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 Dre or and just just to go back and forth. Can't nobody battle Dre, man. Sorry. You don't think Ye could do it? No. And Ye is Ye is my guy as far as producers. But Dre got NWA era. He got Chronic era. He got the Firm. He got you know what I mean. Like come on, bro. I don't know, man. Yeah, yo, because you not only can he can can Kanye play other people's shit, he can play his own shit. Doctor Dre, saying, too, he got the Chronic and the Chronic two thousand one, bro. Like he could play them shit straight through. And I mean, granted, on the Chronic two thousand one, he had a lot of help on the beats. Kanye can't play Dark Twisted straight through. Yeah, I don't think he did. All he didn't do all them beats. But Dre damn sure he do all the beats on um. On, on a 2001? He did all the chronic beats and he did all NWA beats. He, well, he did all the chronic beats. All right, that's fair. But I know he didn't do them on, on 2001. You know what I mean? He throw phone tap on for niggas. Like, well, come on, son. Yeah. Let me ask. Well, you would know. What kind of album did he do all his beats? College Dropout or what else? Yeah. College that's Dropout, it? Late Registration. Um, I think he ain't really start straying until graduation. All right. And then, you know, from there... He did a few. I mean, yeah. he still got some fire beats like Otis and shit. He did, and a couple, you know, a couple beats he did. But for the most part, he not he not turning them out like like he did for Blueprint One and and the Truth and you know what I mean in that era when he was really producing. You know what I mean? They about to throw us out of here though. Young Chop better than fucking Kanye. Fuck that nigga. You think so? Yeah. What's your favorite Young Chop beat? Yeah, we gotta get out of here. That's it. That's it. <laughs> Throwing the towel, my nigga. I can only think of one young chop beat I like. What? I can't even think of it. <laughs> See, that's the shit. You don't you know like Kobe? Saying? Kobe? Well, I don't listen to drill music, so I don't really know chop like that. Chop, chop is the reason Chief Keith the Godfather. He had a joint on. Um, Yo, you sound like my son, man. Oh, he had a joint oh. on 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 Big Sean mixtape that that I like. Not, like. That's like when nigga, that's like Jay Z come out, and then Jay niggas like, "Yo, this Jay Z nigga, man, tired of this nigga, man, this nigga. Everybody <laughs> talk about this nigga when he raps and his rap and shit. The fuck out of here, yo. Whether you like the nigga or not, Chief Keith changed the game. Oh, he did. He did. I give him his his praise. The whole rap shit. He had grown men trying to gang gang and all that shit. He was telling grown men, get the fuck out of here, man. Fuck you to get out, get away from me. Fuck you doing? I'm not I'm not really familiar with his catalog though, to be oh, honest. Oh, that nigga got a catalog, man. He got a catalog. He got some shit. All so, right, just don't share that shit with us, man. I mean, yo, I mean you could be biased. Did you be blind? I mean, look, my look. I the just say Chief Keeker got some shit. He got some shit. Look, he, look. niggas is not saying his name for no reason. Nah, ain't he, nobody saying that. I'm just saying. He's the Godfather of rap. In Chicago, he the Godfather. That's what he I'm saying. Like, he he the Godfather of drill rap. I hate you. Know I mean? hate you. I mean, Everything ain't for everybody. That's and it. Then, That's all. Nigga, all the people that we don't listen to, we don't pay no mind to, them niggas, that nigga Young Chop make, 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 make it away for niggas. He would get like the Cali boy nigga. Niggas don't pay these niggas no mind, but them niggas do numbers. They do their thing. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, the nigga doing his thing, Polo G nigga, nigga helped him get a deal. He helped a lot of niggas get a deal that kids listen to. Yeah, I seen him talking about that today on. Online. So that nigga, that nigga really he behind like everybody made they think niggas a clown. Niggas be making shit move forward because that's what's going on now. Polo G like one of the top niggas out. Yeah, yeah. 
That's the so, pop up at your party, nigga, right? You said what? Is that the pop up at your pop pop up yeah, at your pop up at your party? Mm, I on that hook. That hook was fire. Yeah, so. He got mad shit like that though. He got mad shit like that. So I was like, oh, all right, kid doing his thing. It's not my preference of music. I'm not like saying like, oh, I'm riding hey, around. Yo. Pop up at your party. Yeah, <laughs> and, 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 yeah, yeah. and young and young chop cheese got got some of that. He got him a deal. He got them all. He the one that yo he found the nigga. He like he like he doing his uh Jay Prince of Chicago type shit. But he in Atlanta though. <laughs> so niggas ran him out of Chicago. But I don't know, nigga. I said we done talked about Chicago a little too much, nigga. I like living. You know what I mean? They about to throw us out of here. I got y'all any last words before we shake for Koju purposes only. Yo, just keep stay up, man. That's it, man. That's it. Stay up, stay healthy. Oh, man, it's a glorious time, man. Only time you can wear gloves and a ski mask outside and not get a rash. You know what I'm saying? So be wise. I should go, I should go live for my birthday and then and, and fucking... Nah, I ain't gonna do that shit. But, you know, um, man, let me know. I'll jump <laughs> on there with you, nigga. Pause. Go live, baby. Yeah, you know what I mean? Let's do it. You got a light? You got like one of those disco lights? <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's crazy, though, because... My, yo, nah, nah, it's funny you said my daughter got some light shit in her room. That shit's crazy, yeah. son. Yo, son, about to turn up. You don't drink. When we going to get this apple cider. Let's get it. Pop we going to celebrate your shit. Kid. Pop don't, some don't, apple don't, cider don't, on these don't motherfuckers. Don't put on your birthday. You still got to do some special shit. You know what I mean? Get niggas on well, the jack. Well, I see what it is, though. But um, y'all niggas be safe. It's Word. a great episode. Enjoyed it. Yes, sir. We be we'll back. We be back, man. Regular Mike signing off. You got your man Sagard, you got Dr. B. We're going to holler at y'all.